Hi there, my name is Leila Dakaba and I'm applying as a writer for your company. I've been writing for the last 11 years. I'm actually also a published author and I've also written articles for these different places. Hey there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now my goal is that at the end of this video is to walk you through the process of how to create an introduction video when you're submitting your application as a virtual assistant. Now if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Leanne Lang Lakaba. I've been working from home since I was 15 years old and now run my own executive assistant outsourcing agency here in the Philippines. And I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, now, introduction video is a relatively new thing that has been happening in the last five years where employers will ask you to create an introduction video of yourself just film yourself just like this one probably on your phone where you just introduce yourself the main reason why employers want this and it's actually something that we've done into XU is that we want to see rather than just reading from your resume or your application letter who you are now this depends on the position if you are going to apply for a client facing position for example where you will be talking to the clients clients or their customers then this is usually when they will ask you to do this this is basically kind of a skills test to see how well you can present yourself how well you can talk and how well you can formulate your own ideas as you answer the questions that they probably set for you now different employers will have different requirements and different questions so the the example that I'll be using in this video might not be the same one that your employer will ask you to do. So in this video, I'll give you guys the top tips that I have to make sure that you show up in the best way when it comes to creating your introduction video as you're applying for a job. So make sure to watch until the end of the video for the example that I'm going to do based on a few prompts that I've actually used as a test for our own applicants inside of 2XU. Now, the first tip is to know what you're going to be talking about. Go ahead and review the guide questions that you got from your potential employer to see what it is that they're asking from you. You want to do a little bit of a script, try to do a little bit of bullet points. Honestly, a lot of my YouTube videos are just bullet points that I follow through on my iPad that's right in front of me that guide me as I talk. So what you might want to do is you want to write out maybe the whole script if that's what you're comfortable with and then convert it to bullet points or just write the bullet points of the things that you want to make sure that you cover in the introduction video. Next is to focus on your interests. It depends Again, it this depends on what it is that they're asking from you and again at the end of this video I'll give you guys a really good script that will help you be able to do this faster and easier but focus on who you are and what you bring to the table what is the offer that you're bringing in as they start thinking of hiring you and of course talk about your skills talk about the different things that you have learned the last couple of years as you start stepping into this position and if you don't have any experience at all talk about what your soft skills are that you're bringing to the table let's say you're a really good communicator you know you can say I don't have much experience but I'm a really good communicator about making sure that you're up to date whatever is happening next is to make sure that you research the company research the company that you are about to apply for so you get a feel of their culture of who your bosses are going to be so you can have a better structure of how they might want to hear from you like if they're one of their company values is empathy then you talk about how you have empathy of how you are that kind of person that they're looking for and of course don't fake it make sure that you are that kind of person you know if you're if you don't think you're a match just look for another employer someone else will probably be a better fit for them but try to research and look up the company you're applying for or your boss just so you know a little bit more about them next is think about how can you help them based on their job ad what are the different problems that they're looking to solve by hiring you now I've said this before in other videos but the reason why someone is hiring is because there's a problem that they need solved and they can't do it by themselves or they can't keep doing it by themselves so for example the biggest reason why I thought like okay I really need an assistant is it was taking me eight hours to edit a YouTube video and I couldn't focus on the business anymore which is why I have the amazing Christina so try to look at the job ad and the company and see what are the goals that they're trying to achieve by hiring you and you want to talk about that in the video as well and the final thing that you want to also think about is what's in it for me 
end for them. What's in it for me is basically just telling them this is why I'm a fit for your company. These are the benefits that I'm getting because these are the benefits that I'll be giving you, which is the what's in it for them. Again, what is the thing that you are bringing to the table? How are you solving the problem that they have, which is why they're hiring? And what is the thing that why it makes sense for you to work with them? Again, it's showing them that both of you guys have the same synergy and this is why you keep moving forward with your application. Next is to prepare your tools, whether you're just going to be using your phone, whether you're going to use a DSLR camera just like I have, or you can even just use the webcam on your laptop. It doesn't have to be a very expensive thing unless that's the actual qualification you're applying as like a video talent. You don't have to use really expensive tools, just use what you have. You don't have to invest in camera, you don't have to invest in like a webcam even on your laptop. Just use what you already have. Next is to consider video length. Depending on how long they recommend it to be, if you're just uploading it to their website, then might be less than three minutes. And if you're sending it to your employer directly via Google Drive or something like that, you want to just make it like a minute and a half. It doesn't have to be this long story of how your life started. It can just be really short that goes into the point of what it is that they're looking for. Again, this definitely depends on what their requirement is. It will change from employer to employer. So just make sure that you hit that mark that they're trying to have you hit. Next is now to prepare your environment. Make sure that you have a clear background. So for example, not as messy as my background. Uh, if you can find a place where it's just a plain white background or a plain yellow background like this one, where it kind of like kind of bounces back behind you as well, then the better. You also want to make sure that you're in a quiet place. If you can find a spot in your house or in your room where it doesn't echo as bad, that is a good place Place for you to be and of course make sure that the lighting is actually good right now I'm filming in front of my big window so that's why the lighting is this way and a little bit here this is because it bounces off of again the background that I have the lighting so it all makes sense so try to find different places use your camera find different places in your house or in your room where it has really good lighting so of course your bosses can see you next is to prepare yourself make yourself look presentable I really recommend that you imagine you're going to work clothes so then you look a little bit more formal when it comes to showing up for the video try to wear you know a formal top try to dress up even just a little bit and of course breathe you want to make sure that you breathe and you pause because later on if you want to edit this you can edit the video yourself or just make sure that you don't talk as fast as I sometimes do and of course you want to make sure that you smile once in a while and that you focus on the camera don't look at the screen where your face is showing just look at the camera itself because then it's going to feel more sincere as you do the video a lot of people make this mistake where they're looking Looking at like right now I'm just looking at uh, the screen on my camera that's not good you want to focus on where your camera is at so the person on the other side of it who's watching will feel like oh this person is actually talking to me next is to just practice go ahead and practice your script a couple times say it in a video watch the video so you can correct yourself before you actually do the final cut so that you're a little bit more confident as you go into it next is to edit your video if it needs editing so if you're just on your phone there's a lot of different apps that I recommend the top one that I really use a lot is just InShot. That's just the app that I use for editing my stories, for example, or the videos that I want to put on TikTok. So find a tool or an app on your phone or even your laptop that you can use to edit your video so it's a little bit clean. And then of course, make sure that you submit it in the right format, whatever format that they ask for, whether again, it's uploading it on YouTube, putting it unlisted and then sending them the link, or it could be through Google Drive, or they might have their own platform where they want you to submit your video. And now last but not least is the actual screen script that you'll be using for your introduction video. So you start again with your name, skill, experience, what's in it for me, what's in it for them. So for example, hi there, my name is Leila Kaba and I'm applying as a writer for your company. I've been writing for the last 11 years. I'm actually also a published author and I've also written articles for these different places. I want to apply for this job because I believe that this can challenge me to become a better writer within myself and a lot of your guys' goals align with mine. So I really want to help you guys get to where you want to be inside of your business to show off your content, to show off your product through the different things that I'll be writing about while I'm employed in your company. So it's easy as that. It doesn't have to be this long with a thing. It could just literally be, again, name, skill, experience, what's in it for me, 
what's in it for them because you're tying it all together of why it makes sense that you guys work together now if you guys like this video and this is helpful for you make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below have you ever done a video introduction before and what other tips might you have for the next person who's watching this video now if you guys still haven't yet make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every sunday and thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home and you can check out the latest video right here and i hope you guys have an awesome day remember that small steps matters and i'll see you in the next video bye